Hey, hey developers, today we are gonna talk about two community projects in the Vue ecosystem that I really enjoy. One is Vuetify 3 and the other is Nux 3. So they are the both the Vue 3 versions. So we're gonna talk about how we can combine them into one and how we can use a Nux 3 app with Vuetify 3 and how you can get up and running in really literally just a few minutes. So in my last video, if you didn't already check it out, I talked about Vuetify 3, how it just came out, and Nux 3 actually was released earlier this year. So I thought it'd be cool to combine them both. It was actually the number one comment on my last video, how can I use Nux 3 and Vuetify 3 together? I think these are a great pairing. I think it's almost like peanut butter and jelly, like these two frameworks should be together because it just makes a really cool experience and makes it just so much easier to create Vue apps out there. And if you're completely unfamiliar with these two technologies I'm talking about, so in the Vue 3 world, there is something called Vuetify, which is the material component design framework. It's been out for a long time. It's battle tested. It was used in Vue 2 forever, and now recently in Vue 3. And then Nuts 3, which is our server-side rendering stack site generating framework for Vue. It's sort of analogous to Next if you're coming from the React ecosystem. So both of these together are extremely popular. They're probably the two most popular frameworks out there. So today we're gonna show you how to get up and running with both of these together so you can start creating really fun apps really quickly. Oh yeah, and once again, thank you so much for the outpouring of support from my last video. I'm really jazzed to create more videos. Always leave a comment below of what you wanna see next. Definitely I'm gonna be doing some AWS stuff, so keep an eye out for that as well. So let's just jump into it. So before we jump into the code, let's take a look at the official documentation for Vuetify 3. So you may think at first that you just need to go to the Vuetify 3 website and search for the Nuxt installation. But in fact, there's actually no official guide on how to install Vuetify 3 with Nuxt. And I actually talked to John Leader about this. He is the creator of Vuetify in a podcast a few weeks ago. If you're interested, it's called Views on View. And he says he really allows the community to come up with these plugins and things like that whenever they want to use Vuetify with something outside of core view. So that leads us to a little bit of a problem because we need to figure out how to do that. I did some research and scouring and looked on some message boards and there's a few different ways to install Nuxt and Vuetify together. And I'll give you my recommendation of what I think the best way is. So first, there is a plugin called Vite Plugin Vuetify. So if you search around in Google, you may actually see this as a, one of the ways to install Vuetify with Vite. But I would caution you, there is an open, as of this recording, there is a, an open issue that when people are using this plugin, they're getting a lot of different errors, especially with the latest release. I would steer away from this solution if you see it, if it uses this Vite plugin Vuetify. Uh, on the other hand, very easy way to do it that just takes a few extra step, and that is to create Vuetify as a plugin in the Nuxt ecosystem. So if you look right here, and we'll go into, we're gonna go into the code in a second. In any, any Nuxt app, you can create a plugins folder. And inside that plugins folder, you can create your own plugin. And inside that plugin, you can uh, initialize everything. And that is really the best way of getting Nuxt and Vuetify to work together as of this recording. And let me preface this by one other thing. As I was going through the Discord and some of the other channels out there for Nux, people still have a little little issues here and there, even using the plugin approach that I'm showing you. Uh, if you do have issues, I would go to the Vuetify website, click on the support at the top, and join their Discord channel. I always have anytime I had problems, Discord has really helped me out, and their channel is great, and there's a lot of people out there willing to help you. One other thing to add, we're gonna jump in the code here, but if you like to just start off with a starter template. I found two that were pretty useful. One is this Nux 3 and Vuetify. So everything in this tutorial, if you just want to go and download this repo, I'll put a link in the description for it. But it has it all up and running, exactly everything we're talking about today. And also there is this Nux 3 Vuetify starter kit, um, which is by Bay Breezy. It uses the Vite plugin, but it uses kind of an older version of Nuxt. So if you wanna check out the starter, I'll also put a link in the demo for it. All right, let's jump in the code here. Let's go ahead and create this new Nux3 app. We'll add Vuetify as a plugin. We'll test it out. We may even look a little bit at themes. So to begin, for Nux3 app, you have to use npm nuxy init nuxt app, which is the name of the directory or the app. So we'll call it Vuetify. We'll call it Vuetify nuxt app. And this will go ahead and create all the scaffolding for us so we can get started. 
and we can simply change directory to it. And you can do npm i if you're in yarn, do a yarn, and that'll install all the dependencies. This will just take a few moments. Cool, so everything installed. And just to make sure, I'm gonna install one more thing. I'm gonna npm install. We wanna install Vutify, so we'll do Vutify at next and sass. And by the way, as of this recording, to install Vutify 3, you have to install it Vutify at next still. Uh, if you don't, then you'll get the older version, so keep that in mind. And we'll just run dev on this real quickly, see if it works. Uh, I'll just open up localhost 3000 and take a look. Cool, so we got our starter template here, seems to be working, but we don't have Vutify installed. So there's a couple of things we need to do. Let's just take a look at the folder. So inside this Vutify folder, I will create a new folder called plugins. And inside that plugins folder, I'm gonna create our new Vutify plugin. So we'll call it Vutify.ts. And inside this is where we're going to install everything for our plugin. So let's go and get started with that. First, we'll need to import in a few things. So I'm gonna import in this create Vutify from Vutify. And I'm also gonna create uh, import star as components from Vutify components. And by the way, if I just want to install uh, just one or two components, I can actually specif specifically import them in, but I want to import all the components in the Vutify library. So I'm going to do the star as components, but realize you don't have to import all of them all. And then we're going to do the same thing for the directives. And as you can imagine, that is Vutify slash directives. And the next thing to do is we're going to create the scaffolding for the plugin here. So we need to export default. It's called define nuxt plugin. You can see right here. And then that takes in this callback function, which returns a nuxt app. And inside here, we can create this beautify, beautify, and I'm going to do this create beautify. And this is where I'm going to put the configuration for Vutify. This is where you put the components. This is where you put the directives. This is also where we can do the theme stuff, which I'll show you in a little bit. So we can just do components here. You can see already type, I'm getting some uh, type completion here, auto completion, so directives. This is by the way, the same thing as doing components to components with a key value. And the last thing is we're gonna do nuxt app dot view app dot use, and then I'm just gonna pass in Vutify. So this creates the plugin here, but we're not quite done yet. We do have some CSS that we need to get up and running. So if we go to the Nuxt config TS file, this is where you uh, create your uh, CSS. It's all the configuration for Nuxt that we'll need. So inside here, I'm gonna put CSS colon, I'm gonna call it Vutify. Well, this is the path to the, to the uh, basically the CSS or SAS in this case. And then we're also going to do this build. You have to transpile it. Transpile, and then this is an array, and we'll just pass in beautify here. Cool, uh, so basically this is the basics of getting started, but obviously you probably want to add in some icons. So let's go ahead and install the MDI icons. So in the command line here, I'm just gonna do npm i at mdi font, but you can certainly install whatever fonts that you want, they'll work with Vutify. And then I just need to add in one more in here. So I'll have to put in the path for this font, this font, braces are hard. C font CSS, material design icons .min .css. I think I spelled that right. Cool, so now we should have this all configured correctly and we need to start it to start to test it out. So we'll do an npm and run dev again. Okay, it went ahead and ran uh, off camera. I went ahead and opened and closed VS Code again just to uh, make sure I was in the right directory here. But you can see here it automatically ran, everything looks great. But let's see if the actual Vutify is working. So one easy way to do that, if we go to the wireframes part of the next Vutify.js website, you can see it has all these templates or wireframes that you can just kind of add into your app to get started. So I thought it'd be kind of cool. Let's just look at the inbox one real quickly. And let's see if we can add this in. So we can just click this little GitHub icon in the bottom right hand corner. 
I'm gonna click this little copy raw content and I'm just going to paste this in here. And if I've done everything correctly, it should update. Wow, that's quick. So it already updated. You could see here, I have this full uh, translation here. Looks like, looks exactly like the wireframe. So we know that Vutify is working correctly. It's, it's noticing everything. Uh, so let's take a look at one more thing before we finish up here. So in this Vutify TypeScript file, I was talking about theming earlier and you can actually do some themes on it. So inside Create Vutify here, um, since I'm using TypeScript, I get this auto completion here, I can see theme. And inside this theme, I can actually create my own themes. If I wanted to do this, I can put in this themes object and I can create my own theme if I wanted to. Uh, I won't get into that, but there is, if you go import up here, there's something called a theme definition. And then, so what I could do is I can create my own theme and I'll put it, I'll type it as theme definition. And you can see here, you can put in the colors, you can put variables, whatever you need inside here. So you can just like literally create your own theme, uh, pick your primary, secondary colors. It's pretty powerful. And then what you can do is you would pass it into this themes object here. Instead of themes here, you would just put in the name of this my theme. But instead of doing that, I thought I'd show you, you can actually uh, put in a default theme here and I can just put in dark mode. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So if I put in dark here and save it, now I've just with one piece of code here, I've changed the whole look and feel. Now it's in a dark mode. If I take it back out or I put in light mode, then it goes back and refreshes and it's back in light mode. And you can even do this dynamically if you wanted to inside your components. There's a whole guide on it here. If you go into features and go into theming, it talks about how to change the default theme. And right here, it says you can change the theme by importing this use theme composable, and then you can change it on the fly, which is really cool. So cool, so this is up and running. If I wanted to at this point, I can compile this, I can uh, run it, I can use whatever I want. So now we have Nuxt and Vutify together. Uh, just like peanut butter and jelly. If you like this video, leave a comment below. Let me know what you wanna see next. And uh, if you made it all the way to the end, put in the comments today, Vutify Nuxt 3. Uh, Vutify Nuxt 3, and they'll let me know that you made it all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Thanks, I had such amazing uh, outpouring of support from my first video. Makes me really wanna keep doing these videos, keep teaching you guys. And actually I have a ton of stuff on the AWS side I wanna show you. I'm an AWS developer and I got some cool stuff to show you uh, coming soon for that too. So thanks.